Hey, uh, this is Gold666, and uh, it's been a little while since my last update, but uh, I already finished my established collection of horror movies, and uh, over the couple weeks I purchased a few horror movies. I wanted to get an update in just to let you know I'm still doing this, and uh, moving right along, I uh, bought this a couple days ago, uh, and uh, it's pretty weird, pretty stupid movie, but uh, anyway, it stars... Uh, Kim Poirier and uh, Richard Burgey and Corey uh, Sevier and Nicole Eggert and those are all from you know just random backgrounds they got some history uh, a few Starship Troopers too and Baywatch and North Shore but anyway this is like a sci-fi horror film and uh, it's pretty cool and it's about uh, these aliens who come to Earth and they invade and take over people's bodies and shit it's a pretty cool movie and uh, this is what the cover looks like I, pur I purchased this at Big Lots for uh, I think three bucks. So if you can go there and maybe they'll have it there, I'm not sure. You know, all depends. Um, but uh, I watched this a couple of days ago. It was pretty good. I mean, it was it was your typical you know horror movie about aliens and shit. It was it had a little bit of gore and I don't know. It was all right. Good. It had these really creepy ass things that came out of these people's mouths. It was it was, it was a little antsy, you know. But I recommend you know checking this out. It's a good throwback. And, uh, you know, that's that. And I didn't buy that many horror movies this time, because I haven't, like, I'm running out of room to put these things in. Problem, but, uh, anyway, I picked this up the other day. I found this at Walmart for five bucks, and it's Goosebumps Trilogy. I don't know if you can see that. And, uh, those of you that read these books, you know, it's not this one, where the guy gets all big and stuff. And on the back, it also has the, uh, art and stuff or like pictures of the episode how I got my shrunken head and I also have that DVD as well but this is not that one and this one's about uh these kids they have this they find this like uh magical model city and like all they accidentally get like they find some way to get shrunk and they enter the city and all the people are weird and there's like this baseball monster you know it's your typical goosebumps thing and uh it's pretty cool so if you can find this it's not the thing how I, like how I got big or whatever whatever that's called I haven't read the books in a while or how I got my shrunken head although I have that and uh, it's it's the one about the ballpark thing you know but uh, I you know if you like a good throwback these are good childish kind of horror flicks so uh, yeah, I recommend picking this up it's really good it's a little cool watch and this next step I could not believe I found this and I haven't actually watched the uh, second one on this in this uh, double feature but I found this at Walgreens for like a buck ninety nine, it was too cool, and uh, it's prom night three and four, the double feature, and uh, you know if you like the f the second prom night, you'll like prom night three, but it's got like a a comedy edge to it, and it's really good. I actually liked it the best so far. I don't know how I like four so much, but uh, I'm planning to watch that sometime soon. But prom night three is really cool, really good gore, really cool storyline, and I definitely recommend. Finding Prom Night 3, and I, I'm pretty sure this is the only edition and DVD that um, you can find in either movie. So, uh, you yeah, I found this at Walgreens. I forget the price, probably buck ninety nine or something, like I said, but uh, definitely pick this up. This is a really cool flick, and I'll let you know how Prom Night 4 goes, too. And I'll be hoping to purchase the remake sometime soon as well. This next step I was recommended by uh, Sean from the Cool Duder channel. I picked this up a couple days ago. And uh, on, on the behalf, of it, I it, it was said to be a gory and kind of cool film, and uh, it's The Ruins, really cool movie. Come check this out. I don't want to even ruin anything about it. So uh, it's it's weird, you know, and all these plant things and bugs and stuff that just take over these people's bodies. It's it's weird, but uh, come check this out. This is a really cool movie. I, de I definitely recommend checking out The Ruins. So if you can find this, I found this at uh, Big Lots as well for five bucks. So yeah, definitely. And uh, I uh, purchased the original to this movie a couple weeks ago. And I found the remake a couple days ago as well at Big Lots. I believe this was three bucks. And uh, it was, you know, it was alright. I don't like remakes all that much. But this one, it was at least... It, it was okay, you know, and, uh, uh, definitely worth a watch, and I, this is weird because it has a lot of French stuff, maybe because it was a French film, I'm sure it was, actually, but, uh, 
it's the remake of When a Stranger Calls. And if uh, you've seen the first one, the first one is awesome. I actually li it's like the original. I like that one a lot. This one, you know, it didn't have the same feel, but, you know, it was okay. Yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. I, r I recommend picking this up. It's actually a, it's a decent flick. You know, if you want a throwback, uh, you know, check this out. I found this at Big Lot, so uh, mm -hmm. I recommend that as well. And, I, you know, that's basically the end. I don't have any more films right now. I haven't been able to purchase any or watch m much that watch that much lately. been really busy with my band and school and everything, you know. But uh, uh, hopefully I can purchase some more in the future and uh, get back to you m maybe longer updates. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Dual 666, out.